Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a tutorial for you, kind of a how-to on putting false eyelashes on. I think that's been one of my most requested things to do is just to show you guys exactly what I do from start to finish. So I'm gonna show you how to do that and then also I've had a lot of questions and a lot of curiosity uh, as to where I've been for the past two weeks. I know I'm really sorry. This is the longest that I've gone without posting a video since I started. Um, and for those of you that were worried, that was so sweet of you. I'm totally okay, nothing is wrong. Um, but I moved, so my husband and I moved to Los Angeles and it happened completely out of nowhere. It was very last minute, literally since the last video that I posted. Well, I kind of knew then, it's kind of crazy, but now we're living in like West LA from the Bay Area, so everything's changed. As you can tell, I have a new backdrop. That's because we moved. So we live in a completely different place now. Um, so I'll go over the details. If you guys have like questions or if you're just curious, um, I'll do, I'll talk about that more at the end of the video. So that way you can kind of see like what the heck is going on. Um, and then also at the end of the video or at the end of the how to part, I'm going to show you guys different types of lashes that you can wear and just do like a few different tips. For those of you that are like just starting out or you're beginners or you're not comfortable with, you know, the butterflies that I wear, um, I'm going to go over some tips at the end of this video showing you different styles um, and different types of lashes that you can wear that might make you feel a little bit more comfortable um, before you get to like, you know, ones that go up to your forehead. So if you wanna see any of those tips and tricks, um, just stick around until the end. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so to start this off, obviously you're gonna need false lashes. I'm using the Coco Lashes in Soho. Uh, for my eyelash glue, I'm using the Dark Tone Duo Eyelash Adhesive. Um, they have a dark one and a clear one. Either one works for me, I'm just using the Dark Tone one this time. You're also gonna need a pair of tweezers. Uh, this is seriously crucial. I don't think I could put lashes on without them. Seriously, it would just be a huge failure. And then you're going to need a pair of manicuring scissors. You don't have to use manicuring scissors, but it makes it easier since you're working with something small like eyelashes. And now we are ready to go. Okay, so first, obviously, I'm gonna open up these lashes and take them out. And they are kind of glued to the plastic. So what I'm gonna do is lightly pull up the side using my tweezers, really gently because the band is so thin on these. So I just pull a couple sections up and then I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off gently uh, with my fingers. You gotta be really careful with this because you could easily rip it off. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to measure it on my eye and see if I need to trim it. I already know I need to trim it, but I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. So first, and I have no glue on here, I put it on the very outer edge of my eye so it's flush with the end of my eyelid. And then I lightly just pull it towards the inner corner of my eye. And what I'm doing here is just measuring to see if I need to cut any of it off. So right here, I already know that I need to trim it just a little bit because I don't like when lashes go too close to the inner corner of my eye. If they do, I just go crazy and I just can't have it. So I definitely know I need to cut at least one section off of these lashes. So what I do is I just take my little manicuring scissors and I already know where I'm gonna cut. I don't have to measure these ones each time because I wear them so often. But I already know I'm gonna cut out one section. So I don't wanna do the inner corner because of how tapered it is. So I like to do the outer corner even though these lashes are pretty rounded. Um, I just prefer to do the outer corner. It just makes everything easier. It depends a lot on the style of lash that you use but typically you want to trim the outer corner. So then I just trim that little chunk that I know I don't need and throw it over there. And then what I do is I just take my eyelash glue and I put out a little tiny bubble and then I start running it along the lashes, just the very edge. And you're gonna see here, it's kind of dried already and it's very goopy. So what I had to do was spit out that glob that's stuck on the inside of the tube because it's partially dried. Took me a second to figure that out, but. All 
Oh, there we go. Yes. Okay, so yeah, now it's much fresher and it works a lot better. So I just put a really thin line of glue all along the lashes and then I wait about 30 seconds before applying it to my lid just because it makes it a little bit more tacky and a little bit easier to work with. And then what I do is I line up the outer corner of my eye as far as possible and then I just stick it on right there and then what I do is I take the tweezers and I just push it as close as I can towards my natural lash line and I haven't even touched the other side of the lashes yet. They look good, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep pushing it, um, starting at the outer edge towards my lid. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to be pushing the lashes towards my lash lines, so that way I can feel the coldness of the glue touching my eyelid. Um, it's really important to do that. I like to do it from one side to the other because if you miss a section, it looks kind of crazy and your lashes will fall out throughout the day if you have like a gap in the middle. So I just kind of work it towards the inner corner of my eye and once I am done and it's kind of stuck, what I do is I just take the tweezers and I push the lashes towards my eyelid. So that way if there are any gaps or any spots that aren't touching my lid, I can just push it right in there and it'll, you know, get stuck to it. And then that's what it looks like with lashes and without lashes. And then what I like to do after the glue is dried is I just come back in with an eyeliner brush and some black eyeshadow and tap it on where the glue is at. And then we are all donezos. Here you can see the difference between a lash that I would wear, this one, the 102 from Lady Moss, which is really thin, pretty wispy, and long um, compared to this guy, which is foxy, so this is like way more wispy and thin compared to these guys down here, which are much more dense and thick. Honestly, I think you just need to try both types out, not necessarily these two, but something wispier um, and then something thicker and see which one you like more. It's all based on your preference and your comfort level, um, but I just prefer something more like this on top. I recommend this brand, it's called Eyler. You can get it at Target, they also have them at Lady Moss. Um, but these ones, these are actually the 116s, and these are something else, I have to look it up. But I really recommend this brand, mainly because they have a lot of natural looking lashes. They're really pretty, they're easy to put on, they're a high quality brand, and they last a long time. So if other lashes are just too much for you, I recommend trying these guys out. Okay, so that wraps up my little uh, mini how-to on putting on false lashes. And then I'm sure I already said it, but if you are really uncomfortable with lashes and you're like blinking like that all the time, I would recommend trimming the outer edges a little bit more so you can scoot your lashes out. So that way it's not going too close to the inner corner of your eye. If you do trim the inner corner on accident or something, you can still trim and give the lashes on the inner edge a little haircut just to make them look a little bit more fanned out and natural. Um, but I always recommend trimming the outer edges of your lashes. You can definitely reuse them. I think it all depends on you, your comfort level with lashes, um, and just your personal preference, how you want your eyes to look uh, to decide what kind of lashes you want to start wearing. Um, but there are so many brands of lashes out there. Like I said, the Coco lashes, I'm loving them right now because they're the most dramatic and they're the least expensive um, as opposed to like mink lashes, which are $30 a pair, which is just crazy, I can't. Ardell lashes are really good and Eyler lashes. I love Eyler lashes because they have that really natural curve to it and it makes it easier to put on eyes that are rounded out, like little froggy eyes like mine. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for what I wanted to talk about with lashes. Okay, so we're all done talking about lashes. Um, now I just kind of wanted to tell you guys and fill you in as to why I haven't put out any videos in the past, I don't know if it's been one or two weeks. Either way, it's been too long since I can't remember. And a lot of you guys have been asking on my YouTube, where are you, are you okay, which is so sweet, thank you, I'm totally fine. Um, but yeah, John and I, we just moved to Los Angeles about three days ago. So if you follow me on Instagram, you, you kind of know what's going on. You're a little bit more up to date. Um, but yeah, we moved out here. I had a really incredible opportunity to come out here and make YouTube videos full time again. So I know there were a lot of questions on Instagram if I'm working for Sephora anymore. 
And I told you guys I was so nervous to tell you um, that I was working there, but no, I'm no longer working at Sephora. But what the cool thing is, is they understood that this was a really incredible opportunity. And they told me you're always more than welcome to come back if you ever want to come back to the Bay Area. So we left on really good terms and they were very supportive. Um, and excited for me so it's pretty cool so I'm really excited about everything that's coming up in the future I hope you guys can join me and I hope you can be excited and happy for me I know there's gonna be some people that are you know not very nice but whatever and yeah I think that's pretty much all I have to say I'm living in Los Angeles now um, you know John's really excited to be here. We're both really excited to be here and we're both very appreciative of the opportunities that have come up. So I hope you guys can be happy and excited and join me on whatever journey it is I'm about to go on um, because I plan on including you guys in every step of the way. So yeah, anyway, that wraps up that little uh, whatever you want to call it and then also my false, false. And then that also wraps up my uh, false eyelash application video. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching.